What is up home workout and bodyweight exercise fans in today's video of home eat muscle I'm going to talk about one of the most important and most probably neglected exercise for pulling strength the inverted row now horizontal pulling strength is something quite ignored by most people who are into bodyweight exercise and basic reason I would say is that Pull-ups, you know, which are which is the pulling exercise most people do, are a little bit more sexier, a little bit more impressive, a little bit more cool. We all prefer them a little bit more. So, as a result, the inverted row gets neglected, but this can cause quite some issues. So today, I'm going to talk about how the inverted row is important for shoulder health, for posture, and it's ba why it's basically one of the best bodyweight exercises you should be doing. Starting first of all, uh, let's talk about upper back strength, upper back um, muscle growth and how overdeveloping the lats, which is basically the muscle of your lower back can lead to some issues. So starting first of all with the latissimus dorsi, your lats. Let's see where they originate from and uh, let's see how they work so we can understand why doing too much pull-ups can cause a little bit of a problem after a certain point. As you can see here on Captain Jack Merrow's body, the latissimus dorsi begins all the way down from your iliac crest which is basically the upper bony part of your pelvis it ties up on your lower back uh, starting all the way down from the l2 spinal disc and going all the way up to the t7 disc and the place basically where your lats end up into is the upper part of your arm the upper part of the humerus as you can see here again on jack and this is why you know when you're doing pull-ups you get a lot of lat action basically your lat is pulling your hands downwards but on its way to your arms the lats also attach on a couple of ribs as you can see here and they also attach onto the lower pointy um, part of your shoulder blades so when this muscle when the lats are overdeveloped when there is slack in core strength as well and when there is slack in upper back strength when you're not doing horizontal uh, strengthening exercises the latissimus dorsi can pull your upper back towards your lower back towards your pelvis and this can cause postural issues especially for people who already have a lordotic tendency basically you know the that's the donald duck posture so inverted row is extremely important exercise not just for your posture but also for shoulder health and for increasing your pulling strength why well when you're Scapular retractors, the muscles between your scapular, between your shoulder blades, the rhomboids and the middle trapezius are underdeveloped and when they're not functioning properly, when they're not providing the proper scapular stability can lead to overuse of your shoulder. You know, the shoulder muscle takes over some functions that your scapular retractors should be doing and this again causes issues, this causes sensitive shoulders. So once these muscles, the rhomboids, the middle trapezius and all the shoulder area muscles work in synergy, work in harmony, not only will you be healthier, not only will you have less shoulder issues, but you will also have a proper base to develop your pulling strength a lot more. Ever since I started um, being more aware of scapular stability using these muscles properly in oral exercises i've seen a lot of improvement in my pulling strength and that is why i consider the inverted rows once again an extremely important exercise for building that monster pulling strength so i hope i got you a little bit more interested in inverted rows with today's video i've also written an article on this with with a little bit more detail i also include an extra point on how inverted rows are also an 
anti-aging exercise. You can read all about that in the article on the link above. I always forget it's that way, that way. Anyway, you'll figure it out. For basic technique of this exercise, check out this video I've made uh, in the past. It includes all the basic points you should be aware of. And once again, performing an exercise with proper muscle activation is something that takes a lot of awareness. It takes a little bit of knowledge, knowing some basic stuff. I've been talking a ton about all of this stuff lately. And the reason is because, you know, ever since I started being really thorough with all this stuff, ever since I've started practicing this stuff really hardcore the last couple of months, I've seen a ton of muscle gains. You can check out my videos and compare how, how I was before the summer and after the summer. So uh, focus on all these. I've also written an ebook on how to do push-ups the previous week uh, with this proper mind to muscle connection. Uh, I'm also going to write an ebook on how to develop the perfect uh, back, sculpted back with bodyweight exercise and how to use that mind to body connection properly. That one is also going to be again free for the first couple of days. You know, uh, I like giving stuff to all of you who support this project. So stay posted, watch my videos or subscribe to my newsletter on my website so you don't miss out on this. Uh, leave me your thoughts and comments below and I'll next time keep on training.